Good morning. I'm Casey reporting for Casey Collections in Buchanan. It's Tuesday. It's April 26, a little bit later this morning and alive than usual. It's about 8.30 in the morning, and it's two days until the big blowout. So I wanted to chron you know, kind of go through this so that you can see chronologically what it takes for us to get ready for you. Um, and ultimately, our hours are still open on Tuesdays. Or excuse me, you can tell I'm a little, little out of it this morning here. Long day yesterday. We're open on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 9 until 5, and it's two days until the big blowout. And what does that really mean? Well, I announced on Sunday morning alive that we were having an April blowout event. It was the last big event we were going to have in a while. These take so much um, time and energy. It's our way to give back, but we also have a selfish purpose in it as well, in that in giving back, we're able to reduce um, duplicate inventory that we have or inventory that's been sitting around for a while that's in perfect condition um, to make changes in our business model so that we're not carrying um, nearly as many rugs or linens and then ultimately to get the inventory down so that we can go up in a different way. We're really looking at reducing the amount of Chinese inventory that we carry and there's a thousand reasons why it's, it's grossly overpriced now. Um, the ability to get it with the lockdown situation going on in China. I mean, 500 containers sitting out at port. I mean, it's only going to get worse. And so what that really means is we're trying to get ahead of the curve in and doing that, of course, give back to you with phenomenal prices. So we worked on Sunday um, to reset the linen room. I'll show you that. It's still a big, hot disaster. Um, the amount of work that goes into that is, is unbelievable. So I always chuckle when people say, oh, you're only working part-time now, you know, three days a week. Uh, that's not the case for the full-time team at all. So this is a table that is going to be going out to a couple in Richmond. They're picking up tomorrow. And I wanted you to be able to see it is, is that cast iron table that's been here for a little bit, but it's a beautiful Lancaster legacy table that's five feet. It has two leaves that pull out and go in the ends, and it's got the leather seating, cast iron underneath, and a, a bench with leather that, that matches. Um, now, as far as what will go up here, we'll continue to pull up islands, likely to go up at the front of the store because our sold section will remain at the back of the store. Over here, this is a little bit mixed match now. So just to let you know, um, we do have a full truck to unload and we'll be doing, you know, some of that later today. We've got about 170 pieces of frame print, signs, shelfies, all kinds of wooden American made signage that will be processed as we can get time you know, over the next couple of days. But what'll go right here um, when it's off the truck tomorrow is a huge eight foot table, a rough sawn table. It's our famous rough sawn table. Um, these are taking a minimum of seven months to get made. And ultimately we've been waiting, I want to say since, I'm not even going to try to quote this morning, a very long time to get this eight foot Michael's Cherry Black rough sawn table that will drop in at the front of the store. Also included in the unload of furniture that um, will happen tomorrow, um, that will finish happening tomorrow, the heavy pieces with the movers, are two bedroom sets. So if you've been looking for the Michael's Cherry Black bedroom furniture, you know, last time it sold over the phone um, on a Thursday morning, the Michael's Cherry Black. Because remember with this blowout event, and I'll just carry this little sign with me so I can reference it. All of our in-stock furniture is going to be 10% off to 50% off. So we'll have certain furniture tagged. You know, I don't know if it'll be green ribbon this time or whether it'll be little um, starbursts like that. We'll make those decisions as we go through the next couple of days. But it'll be tagged, and I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted just like I did for the last spring cleaning event, kind of day by day, you know, what's going on. We're working to um, restock and redecorate our shelves. So you'll see lots of different displays that'll be happening down through here. We work to, um, again, restock and uncover a lot of our trash cans that are ever so popular. So you'll see those in multiple places through the store. We have a little Easter closeout section down there and we'll continue to work to get different displays done down this side of a shelving unit. That's the bathroom section, or at least that's the goal. I wasn't um, quite sure that the bathroom frame prints were going to fit on this load of furniture. So how I'm going to handle that quite yet, it's, it's not a planogram where we just go by a diagram and figure it out. So it's a lot of moving parts. 
and, and ultimately we'll get those out. I just don't know that all 170 pieces will get out before the weekend, but we're going to give it our very, very best shot. We're trying to unearth some of the TV stands that have been kind of covered up in the back room so that you can see those a little bit better. We've got our economy furniture that, you know, we've double stacked now, but it continues to go out as quickly as we get it in. And then kind of looking back here, it's still a hot disaster, but it's a big difference from Sunday morning. We kind of had things really disheveled where we were rearranging. I mentioned to you that we were, you know, ultimately going to be putting up swags in this room. And then with the blowout event or the linen reduction event, whatever it was last weekend, you know, I wanted to wait and kind of see how that went before we, you know, put the time, labor, and effort into doing this. So you can see it's a different look. I just stuck some frame prints up this morning. You know, we're going to get it a little more polished and fluffed and things kind of ironed today. But when you walk into the room now, and again, it's a mess everywhere, and I'll show you day by day as we clean it up. But basically, you're going to have linens all the way that way. Um, that chest of drawers that's over in the far corner may get moved, you know, swinging it around this way. And again, it's still a hot, hot mess, but, you know, you get to kind of go through the journey with us. We're going to be, you know, making the floor all around the edges. Um, ultimately, there's some TV stands there. This will be a frame print roll. We'll have some signs where, you know, if you need one of those frame prints, you know, just ask us and we'll get it down for you. You know, 10 signs are something that we always did really well with. But we let the inventory creep down on us, and we've just been so busy with furniture. So 10 signs are going to be right here on the aisle. We're going to be writing another order, and hopefully they'll be in by the end of next week. Um, they're always good. The, the, the men in particular like to come back and sort of stand. So minus these two shelving units that'll get moved, it'll give a recessed area where anyone that wants to look at 10 signs can do so in a much easier way. We also have these shelving units. I've got a ton of those that are for sale, unbelievably priced at $50 each or $45 if you buy two or more. Um, we have those in off-site storage and ultimately could arrange for a time to, to pick those up once they're paid for through the register. There may be a couple available this weekend. We'll just kind of see how it goes. As far as other linen closeouts, because notice that all linens are 20 to 75% off. So if it's on the walls, it's going to be the 20% off is what we've decided. I believe there might be some other things that we pull from the shelves, but ultimately round, around this circle, if you will, you know, this displayer, all of these really great balances in here. We're going to be taking um, price guns to them a little bit later today where these are going to be 20 to 75% off. So these will be the ones that will be greater markdown and you can just kind of shop around there um, in comfort, but shopping the closeout linens in the linen room instead of shopping um, what we have had is one area of closeout linens out by the bedding, closeout window treatments out by the bedding. So you can see it's a much more open room, kind of breathe a little bit. We're going to be working on putting up a privacy wall kind of outside those bathrooms so that just a little petition, hopefully by the weekend, so you don't plop out the bathroom and run right into somebody shopping for floral. Um, so we want to be able to provide a little more privacy in that kind of hallway area there um, for folks that need to go to the bathroom. So hopefully that will happen before this weekend as well. Back in this room, we've got it set up, ready and waiting for the bedroom furniture. We do have a seven drawer dresser in stock. We'll plop a chest of drawers right over there. We've got another chest of drawers coming that'll go here. And we have two queen black and Michael's cherry um, beds that'll kind of sit in this zone along with, I believe, three nightstands. So we'll get those set up as far as the bedroom furniture and then continue to fluff the walls back here. Um, and you can see they need a lot of fluffing. We'll also kind of make these TV stands a little more visible. They've been hidden, you know, as rugs and everything else have sort of been in this regard. You'll see as the week goes on, um, hopefully it took five of us to get this stain tower in. And that was uh, mixed company, in other words. So five people brought this in. We'll see if three movers tomorrow can move our Lancaster Legacy Tower. We want to move it kind of back here so it's not taking up as much space. So what will that do for us back in this particular area as the week moves on? You'll see it progress, and that's really for us the fun part is seeing it progress. These two Lancaster Legacy servers 
That'll be on closeout and have been. Um, they're just taking up a lot of room. We need to move them along. You know, we'll ultimately likely move over into this section. This is going to be our sold furniture section. And here's some sold furniture that's getting picked up at the first part of the week. And some of that's going out, you know, here at the very back on delivery. So this area will ultimately clear itself up, may look a little empty at times in this zone purposely. So as we sell furniture that people can't take with them, you know, as we have time, we can kind of get it out and get it into the sold furniture section. So just be aware of that. We also are going to store, you know, some of our sold furniture so that we can kind of easily load it for folks also. So a little bit of the transition back in this area, we've got rug runners marked down to giveaway prices. We've got three by fives marked down. We've got some rug runners over there in the corner that are still left at $10. And these rug prices are well below cost. I, I mean, I just can't say enough. They're not going any lower. You know, their next step's kind of out the door. So that's what's going on there. Over in this side, once we get the Lancaster Legacy servers out, you will see that we will have a register area back here. Um, the theory is we're going to hopefully get it all measured out this morning and be able to move the furniture that's over in that um, side while they're out so that we can drop our 8x10 rugs on the floor without this tower. So our movers will help us do that. I think the measurements are going to work. We're going to put the final... Um, measurements or final tape, you know, what's the expression? Measure twice, cut once. We're going to do that final measure a little later this morning, but we think we can get our eight by 10 rugs on the floor so we can do some rug shows back in this section and then also have a register area back here that can be designated this weekend for rug checkout. So what we're thinking we're going to do is just ask you if you're buying a rug to go ahead and check out you know, we'll kind of tape the receipt onto it. We'll put it out the doors there because it's not um, supposed to rain, I don't believe, this weekend. And then ultimately you can check in. We'll check the receipt and, and you can pick it up and be on your way. And then other things would go through the front registers. So when we're not doing rug events, you know, why are we going to go ahead and put in a station back here just for lookup? In other words, if we need to check quantities on things for you as a way to serve you better, why not just drop in a counter and a register? So uh, later today, our uh, computer person will come in and run the wiring to get that all set up. The movers will move the counter in place tomorrow. And then we'll ultimately continue to dig for new inventory that I found more of this morning that's shoved back into another room. So three stores go into one. It's been a matter of push the inventory where you can, when you can. And then now it's a matter of continuing to spring clean, dig it out, you know, make sure that we, you know, push as much stuff out for you to buy as possible. It's not doing any good in the back rooms. Our placemats will be 50% off as part of our um, 20 to 75% off linens. Our table runners will be 20% off. And you can see all of our tabletops now have table runners on them. And we will start to put centerpieces back on the tables. But basically, the whole, sale, the whole store is on sale for the April blowout event. It's one more blowout event. It's not a going out of business event. I understand with all the events why there would be questions about that. I'll be the first to tell you when that is, and I'll change the title. There are no plans to do that. This is simply another pivot, a pivot to clean house on things that you'll want at reduced prices that maybe have been here, a pivot to change our business model just a little bit based on the times that we're living in related to supply of the product, demand of the product, pricing of the product. And oh yeah, maybe we ought to be buying a little more American-made product if there's a choice between American-made product and Chinese product that's going to continue to get higher if we can even get it. It's kind of hard to ship from a port when you don't have people at the port. So that's only going to get worse. We are falling out of April into May and we do have our fall items out. Um, we continue to push fall out. This is very great fall that came in late last year after the fall buying season was over. So if fall is your favorite season, I have a feeling 
you know, it's going to be hard product to get. I can tell you that my orders for fall and Christmas were the lowest I've ever placed. I have no desire in running the rat race. I did the last couple years of, you know, is it going to get here? Is it not going to get here? And before it's all over, I may cancel those Chinese fall and Christmas orders because they'll probably arrive by the time next spring gets here. So if you want fall, buy it while we have it. I'm not interested in playing the game this year with trying to get it here, not get it here, have a stroke, trying to get it here and all that stuff. So it's out and plenty of time for you to not only buy it, but to get it at 20% off. So it's a big event. There's a lot more to do for us that work part-time three days a week, right? It's a lot more to do to get ready. Um, but we're delighted to do it. We hope that a lot of you will be able to come in and take advantage of what's going to be our last large event for a while. We are staffed well this weekend. I pray nothing changes with that. Um, our computers have been worked on with QuickBooks this week that had been needing to happen, or actually it happened the end of last week for a while. We have a new register area, and I think we're going to be pretty organized as far as the sale is concerned. So fingers crossed, day by day, I'll give you some updates on kind of how the store is looking and, you know, what the plans are. Um, you know the overall plans as far as the details of the sale. Those went out on TV Sunday morning. They also went out on the Facebook Live on Sunday morning. That's so you could plan if you wanted to be able to come in and shop this coming weekend. Again, it's Thursday Friday. Friday and Saturday, 9 to 5, an April blowout event. Once we do this big blowout event, we're going to rest some um, and ultimately hopefully have a lot of happy customers at home putting up their new product for spring, putting back their product for fall, and overall just being very happy that they've been be able to be out and about good and good deals at a time where we're all just like, oh, how much more expensive are things going to get? For now, though, Casey's got to hush and get to work. I got a lot of work to do to get ready for you folks, and we do hope to see you this weekend. Remember that miscellaneous will be open this weekend as well, so if you have a chance, get up and see my mom right off of ID1 Exit 200. We we haven't had a lot of time, you know, go figure, right, to redo our collections. So I do apologize that the prints and the collections, the look haven't changed a lot in the past few weeks with everything we've had going on with the events. We haven't had time to do that. We're going to get through this event. We're going to get the furniture out that sells. Um, you know, again, I've got about another half load waiting on me that I know about. Um, and ultimately, at that point, we will reset we will get ready for another commercial and get the store getting fluffed up, looking better down through here in our collections. But for right now, there are only so many of us and there are only so many hours in the day. And with that, be blessed. Enjoy the journey. Stay tuned. I'll keep you posted um, on our cleanup this week. I wish I knew how to make time-lapse videos. I think that would be pretty cool because sometimes it's amazing to us what happens in one day. Um, and it's kind of fun to show you all where we are and where we're going so that when you come in, you know where things are. For now, though, I got to hush and get to work. Enjoy the journey and find the good in each and every day.